I'm Dr. Christopher Semino, Vice President and Chief Medical Officer of Kaplan Medical. I'm an M3 balancing the wards and boards. Ah, what can I do to stay sane? Well, um, I'd say you're already pretty sane because you didn't mention the thing that most third year students are concerned about, which is uh, attending rounds uh, and pimping. Uh, being on attending rounds and having the attending saying, quick, what's the lowest point of the fourth ventricle called? Um, and um, other things like that, and then have the student next to you shout out, of course I know that, call on me, it's the OBEX. Um, everybody knows that, right? Um, it's, it's actually a pretty useless piece of information, but I've heard it asked. In fact, I was asked it once and happened to know the answer and felt really good about that. Um, so really the question though is, how do you find the time to study for the shelf exam at the end of the rotation? Um, you're going to attending rounds. If you're on surgery, you're going to the OR. Uh, you're going to wound care clinic. You're going to the ER. You're admitting patients. You're writing notes. You're drawing bloods. You're starting IVs. Um, you're doing morning pre-work rounds. You're doing evening sign-out rounds. Um, if you're on surgery in the winter, you won't see the sun until your next rotation. Um, when do you find time to study? And the reality is there's lots of downtime during the rotation, little snippets, five minutes here, 10 minutes there. Do not go off to the library. The worst thing you can do as far as your clinical rotation is concerned is disappear. You wanna be visible, you wanna be available. Um, but even doing that, there are things you can do with an app, with a book that fits in your coat pocket um, to do little bits of studying here and there. Then try to find the time in the evening or on the weekend uh, to do that final polish and that final accounting. What did I study today? What didn't I study that I thought I would? Keep track so that you know where to pick up the next time. And then this piece of advice is actually at the before and after the rotation. Uh, so before you start your rotation, think about can I, is there some reading I can do now while my brain is fresh? that will give me a jump start on the rotation. And then when the rotation is over and after you've taken your, your shelf exam, is there some time I can find to organize the notes, the lots of little snippets that I studied, so that I will have a set of notes worthy to study from the same way I studied for step one. Those notes will then come back when you're ready to stu study for step two CK and you'll feel like you're a step ahead in getting started there.